picked these cabbages and we brought them in and we're going to eat them because we're hungry. And so this is our lunch. We're going to make a coleslaw. They were starting to split like this. And what happens when they split from the heart, which we already took out, the flower comes up and it makes a big flower stalk. And then it, that's where it makes its seeds. But right now we're going to cut this. So we wanted to show you the crispiness and the beautifulness of these. It has not been 10 minutes since we cut these. It might be getting right to 10 minutes. We just got them and brought them in. And what I mean by cut them is harvested them from the garden. So when we're cutting this, the crispiness of this is, is absolutely amazing, but it's normal. But I've noticed that other people, they come here and they get super excited about the difference in the vegetables. This cabbage is still metabolizing because it's, it has only been cut for a minute from out there in the garden. And so it's still growing. It's still doing stuff. The photosynthesis has probably stopped because it's in the darkness now because in the house is dark. But everything else is still working. So this is completely alive. And, and the crispiness, I don't know. I've never seen crispiness like this in a, in a plant unless you pick it from the garden and you bring it in and you immediately do it. When it's in the fridge for a while, it's not the same. So we hope that this is better for us when we eat it. How does it taste? If Jesse tastes one of these and tell him just to explain how it tastes. It's flavorful, it's sweet, it's good. There's no bitterness at all. It's refreshing. Mm. Refreshing is a good word. Mm. This is the sweetest cabbage I've ever had. Is it really? It really is. It's like juicy, and it's like the perfect crispiness. But people say they don't like vegetables because ve vegetables have an off flavor. It's so appetizing. It's sweet though. So when when the juice, if you if you bite that in the back molars, and it's hitting those taste buds where you taste bitterness. I'm picking up sweetness. Usually yeah. the sweetness is in the front of your mouth. Yeah, it's not even spicy, really. No, it's not like biting it's back. It's not spicy at all. It's, uh, but this is why we grow, <laughs> excuse me, this is why we grow our own food. And it's just so watery. Like, there's just so much juice coming out of this. And that is, it's just, oh, it's just I mean, it's not even cabbage. Yeah, no. Except I mean, it is. All cabbage is supposed to taste this way. But we're so far removed from our food by distance and by time and by shelf life and by trucking, by all of the things that go into modern food that we don't even know what food tastes like. I went to a restaurant recently and I wrote about it in my book that's going to be published soon. But it was, it was brilliant because we went to this restaurant and nothing there tasted good. But it was a good restaurant. And I, and I was asking everybody, there was like 10 people at our table, and I was like, how do you like your meal? How do you like this? How do you like that? And they thought it was weird that I was asking, but you know, I'm a farmer and I'm into food. I didn't tell them it was one of the worst meals I've ever had. It wasn't a bad meal. It was a good meal at a great restaurant. It's the fact that the food we get in our modern world is not fresh. And cabbage <laughs> tastes, has all these tastes to it, and people tend to not like it. This tastes nothing like those. I wish we had taste vision instead of television so you could taste this. Okay, so here's how we make it. Here's how we make this. We just chop this all up nice and good. And we didn't wash this either. We just picked it and we picked the big leaves off and there was nothing to wash off of it because it's nice and clean coming from the greenhouse. The greenhouse is already clean.
There's enough cabbage on the floor to make a coleslaw down there, too. Jesse, we need two bowls. Okay. What are we going to do about it? I'm going to pull them off. I'm going to be very precarious. Sometimes cabbage is hot, it burns your mouth. This one's not doing that at all. No. I think it, it, makes you, it just makes me want to eat more, actually. It is, it's appetizing. It's yeah, like it's potato chips, you can't just eat one. And usually, like this big, thick white piece is always like the most spicy part on store bought cabbages, but this is the sweetest and juiciest part. Like that? Like one? it's like eating an apple. Like that? Yeah. It's like. It it's is like, like an apple. Or like a really sweet. Radish or something. Almost tastes more like a radish, but like a cabbage. That one kind of has the hottish flavor, but it's the most but there's spicy. no burn at all. No, it's like eating an apple. It tastes like cabbage. <laughs> I'm trying to detect some burning because I'm expecting it. Out. It's not really happening. Not even in the aftertaste. Like there's literally. Nothing. Anyway, that's a good one. So why does it taste this way? I don't know. I think it has a lot to do with secondary metabolites and the way that we're growing it out here. Okay, hopefully this has helped you to chop up a cabbage.